Hi, my name is Parker Beasley. My name is Brianna. Julio Sanchez. Chloe Kearney. Amari Chavez. Kyron McElroy. Nazir Hill. Sandra Parks. Lori Gaino. Diane McManus. Uh, my name is Janera Walters. I'm the superintendent of Kankakee School District 111. So this is one of the most fundamental um, ideas in competency-based education. CBE stands for competency-based education. And basically, I mean, the best way to explain it is that we focus on student learning and not how long it takes to learn or where you're learning. The standard way uh, we stuck to the standards, the Illinois state standards, um, I think for all of the classes. And uh, now that we teach CBE, we uh, stick to the competencies. So we have a list of uh, competencies, basically uh, skills that we want students to have before they graduate from high school. The competency-based model is saying we believe that all kids can learn and we're going to design to help every kid learn. And it doesn't take away from, um, so, you know, maybe you might feel like, oh, if I'm not, if, I, if I'm sorted and I'm at the top, I don't want to lose being at the top. But it doesn't mean that you can't also achieve and do great things if you're at the top. It just means that we want everybody to learn um, the basics, uh, the basic skills and ability to apply them so that they can live a meaningful life, that they can pursue uh, meaningful work future education, be a good citizen, um, and that they have those basic skills and the ability to learn, right, because the world is ever changing and there's always going to be new things to learn. So CBE is about competency and just proving that you know the information in whatever time it takes to show that you're competent in that high school content. Um, another difference would be that all of us are required to um, allow students to make corrections on um, assessments or give a given another chance to show that they can do that. How do I personally feel about CBE? CBE has affected my learning by changing basically my entire experience. I'd say overall it's been a positive experience. Um, I've been using it like as a tool mostly. Uh, it helped me a lot being like a student athlete and everything. It helped me like bring my grade point average up, like my previous grades and everything like that. I feel like I have um, paid more attention to what I'm actually being graded on rather than just the grade that I'm getting on tests and what really goes into that grade. I think CBE is a great concept for students. It, it literally gives um, students the opportunity to master a skill. CBE helped me focus on being an athlete because I can do a sport and go back in the classroom and do my old work if I need caught up and help on something. So it helped me, like, it played a big role in my academics and athletics. Uh, CBE has affected my grade by allowing me to retake tests when needed and giving me more time to work on my assignments. Also, overall, CBE has helped me kind of, like, uh, work ahead and understand, you know, what in the future I'm going to be working on rather than just, like, what in the now I'm working on. How UCB was more like a standardized mindset where I had to like get the highest grade there was. You know, always trying to push in forward to get that the level 12 during my senior year and then junior year was 11. Always trying to get that A, trying to do as much as possible to get the highest score, get a good grade. I'd say it's also definitely benefited me in earning honors credits in situations where I normally wouldn't. So for example, last year I took English 2 as a sophomore and it was like the regular base English class, but I was able to score a high enough score on the CBE system to uh, get an honors credit for the class and that definitely helped. In the beginning of COVID, my grades, they weren't as good. We were all panicking because of the pandemic and how everything went, so I wasn't motivated to do any of my Zooms during choir or anything. I wasn't motivated to learn my materials. So with us coming back from COVID, I had plenty of opportunities given to me by teachers to learn new and harder material so I can 
up my grades from COVID. It, it created better opportunities for myself and everything like that. Like, like during the pandemic, I didn't have that and they brought CBE, so that helped me like a lot bring up everything. I went back and did the old like previous work and everything. One of my experiences were I learned material that was opera-like and also Latin. And with that, it was a difficulty range. I won a reward off of it. I got best of day off of it. And it helped me get the grade that I got so poor. It helped me get it up because of my difficulty level and also the fact of it being in a different language. Being able to make up an assignment later on, because sometimes I will make a, do an assignment, I will like get a bad grade on it. But there's always assignments later on through the school year where you're able to make up that competency, even get a higher score. And that really helped me because I was not doing so good in the beginning of the tour of the year. From an administrative perspective, which is very difficult, we're trying to get rid of just the notion that it ha that learning has to happen in class and that it has to happen in a semester. So it could take, um, you could learn a concept in a month and then move on, um, or you could take an extra, uh, like a, a, a semester and a half, for example, and then you can get the grade that you would get based on the learning regardless of how long it takes. The problem is that we're in a traditional system that's been in place for years and people can't wrap their head around how to have that flexibility in time. 